So I do like how you said we, because that is we. Um, <laughs> and I don't like, I've read Lord Durham's report. He was a jerk. Um, <laughs> say in his, in, in his language, that it just, um, no, it, it infuriates you to read it um, from a modern context. And um, we made up probably, you know, I've seen estimates where 44 percent of the workforce of the mill workers that basically were the engine for the United States um, in the late 19th and 20th century. Um, obviously, um, there were other immigrant groups here. Um, but one thing that's very interesting is you hear about the other immigrant groups. The French Canadian presence is not mentioned or taught in elementary or high school. I only became aware of it when I became an adult. Um, I was not aware how big of it was, but I think we're becoming a little bit louder um, with some of the things we're doing to to acknowledge that presence. Yeah, I mean, life was hard. They worked, you know, all day, 12 hour days. They did, you know, they lived in French. They worked in French, um, you know, mass was in French. Um, everything was in French until probably, you know, from what I can see, it starts to kind of change a little bit. Probably, you know, around the World War II time period. Was nice. talking to Eric before yeah. the interview, and I was like, what I want to know is how he pronounces his name. <laughs> how did I do? Bolier, is that close? Close? Uh, it's perfect. My grand that's my grandfather. Um, they insisted on keeping it saying we came late. So, you know, yeah. it's scary. So, you know, I mean, late. Like now, but I'm like 1900. I mean, even though we have more history in Quebec than here, um, yeah, we're very proud of it. And my kids say it the right way. We encounter people that say my name, beautiful. We say beautiful place um, differently. Bolio is a lot of ones I hear. Bolu, Yuli. I'm like, no, I I took. Now we've totally turned um, from that. So I don't see us as victims at all. Um, you know, my ancestors were, but we're lucky that they made, they did what they did. Um, you know, may, if we didn't come here, I wouldn't have been born. So I, I don't say I want to go back to Quebec because they had, people had to meet here. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it was a hard life. I mean, it, our history together kind of ends there. It's kind of how I view it. So we're together. We built the, pro we built province, country, whatever you want to call it. We built it together. Um, we were together through the, you know, the wars. We were together through the, the mill periods. And then it kind of, World War II slows down and slows down more. We turned to two different things where you have the Quebecois um, and, and uh, Franco-Canadians are outside the province and then us. But I think that um, as time has changed, like, you know, Modern Franco-Americans view, like I view the Quiet Revolution a bit differently than maybe some might. I don't take the American perspective on it. I'm still viewed as an outsider, but I hear both sides and I hear um, we go further down towards, you know, some of the votes and things. I hear the way some of the English Canadians talk to René Levesque and I don't like it. I don't like it. Like, I'm like, why are you talking to him like that? Like, he's right. Like, you treated him like crap forever. What do you expect? <laughs> 